Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a simple example of buffered channel. A simple program to demonstrate the use of buffered channels. So what channel is? Channel is basically used to share data between go routines. And there are two types of channel. One is buffered and unbuffered. So let's see an example of buffered channel. Simple program to see the use of buffered channel. Wait. Now let's have our main function. We can use some random numbers. Time dot now. Okay. Now, so let's create a buffer channel to manage student versus his subjects. So we can say subjects. Make system. So we are making a channel. Okay. When this is a syntax for buffered channel. Let's do go routine. Let's uh, uh, launch five go routines to handle the subject and say for I to I is less than or equals to let's say five. You can say go students subject and for j goes to 1 j is a less than let's say 10 j. D dot as printf we can say subject and since it's an integer we we'll put it as D now let's close the channel so go routines will quit Dot wait. Now let's have our function students subject string from a student. We can say default go routine dot done. Now we can wait for subjects to be assigned. Subject. We can say if result equals to false. This means the channel is empty and closed. So we can say f empty printf student exit comma student. Now we can say return. D dot started on student. Okay. 
63 n so now actually we can randomly wait to stimulate the work time for each subject time duration and say sleep time dot millisecond now we can display time to wait time to sleep millisecond now we can display the subject completed by the students student complete student comma subjects Oops. okay Okay, now let's run this. Run window. So in this program, a buffered channel of a type string is created with a capacity of 10. A weight group is given on the count of 5, one for each go routine. And there, if you see, there are 10 strings are sent into the channels to stimulate or replicate the project for the go routine. Once the last string is sent into the channel, the channel is going to be closed and the main function waits for all the projects to be completed. So this is a simple program to demonstrate the use of buffer channel. So guys, if you like my video, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.